How's it everybody? It is Ethan on Encoder and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build Twitter. We are on episode 42 and in this episode we go through and fix up a couple of bugs that I actually end up finding in the end of the last episode. And we also go through, finish up the styling and get everything ready to be able to actually send the data that we took in in the previous forms and send it over to the server to actually register the person. So let's go ahead and hop into VS Code and I'll show you guys how we did this. So now we have all of these good to go. Now we're going to do a little bit of extra work on the the form just to kind of get it all wrapped up and ready to go on to the next step. So we need to go ahead and add a few things. So below here, we're going to add an H1 and this is going to have the class, have a class of reg dash step dash three. And then this is going to be the header. This is going to say, create your accounts. So again, this is just going to wrap a blog stuff that we need. We're going to wrap some of these in divs. Class name is equal to reg dash step dash three. And then this is going to be called value. And we're going to wrap all of these in here. And I'm sure there's a good reason for this because I'm pretty sure we have to have this a certain size and then have these 100%. Otherwise it gets kind of funky. So I'm just going to copy this a couple of times and uh, paste it in here. Okay, that's good to go. And then do it one more time. I don't know all of the shortcuts that I should. I know you can yell at me, it's fine. Paste it in there, cool. So now we can style all those up and now we need to go ahead and make one last thing, which is the policy. Uh, so class name equal to reg dash step dash three dash policy and probably what I should have done is share some CSS um, but it's fine we're gonna say by signing up and I might want to sell signing up right signing up you agree we're going to have a span a class name equal to um, reg dash step dash three dash link so again, I should probably share the CSS instead, but it is what it is. And we're going to copy this for now. And I'm also going to say view world wrap just to make it a little bit easier on ourselves. And inside of here, we'll say terms of services. Again, this is exactly how Twitter has it. And we'll have another span inside this span. We'll say privacy policy comma including another span inside this span we'll say cookie use and then have a period we'll say footer may use your contact information including your email, whoops, address and phone number for purposes outlined in our privacy policy. Hopefully I don't get sued for using this, like keeping your account here and personalizing our services including ads another span inside this band will say learn more and then there's a period outside there others will be able to find you by email or phone number when provided unless you choose otherwise. So I just learned about, then we need one more span here. I just learned about how you actually enable the 
word wrap, so that helps a lot. I wish I knew about it last episode. So now that's our div. We need a next button to go ahead and let us go to the next. So we're going to say styled next button. We're going to import that. On click is not going to do anything for the time being. We'll add that in later. On click is going to say alert. And this will just say signing up. So that way we know that it actually worked. Our color is going to be blue this time because the ones for like signing up and actually sending requests are blue. Active is going to equal to true uh, because we already have all the information. Then this will say sign, whoops, sign up. So now we have all the info on the page. We just need to finally go ahead and wrap up the CSS. If we take a look at it now, everything is not, whoops. Let me go ahead and fill all this out once again. Um, email at mail.com and pass in some information. Next. So this is obviously, um, I need to adjust a couple things and it looks like this is not quite correct. So we should also take a look at that real quick. But now all we really do is kind of set this stuff up and we're good to go. We click on it, it says we're signing up. So now next episode we'll go through and fix that. But first let me take a look at why the name, email, and birth date aren't quite working correctly. It's gonna be an issue inside our validated display itself. And I think it's because we don't have something focused or something. Let's go back into that new component we created earlier inside of our validated input. Let's go ahead and take a look at validated display. So I think that the label needs to be active maybe. Active equals not focused. Let's see if that changes it. Okay, we click on it. It doesn't quite focus like it's supposed to. So I need to take a look at why it's doing that as well, but that looks better. Oh, I forgot to change the on focus. So it's a good thing that I checked that. So focus and save. And now whenever I click on it, you see it takes us back. We can hit next. I should probably figure out how to save that, but it is what it is. Click on this, it takes us back here. Cool, and that's how Twitter does it. Um, and now that looks good, now I just need to go ahead and fix this up to make it look a little bit better. So let's go ahead and come back in here. We need to make our last CSS file. So, or not the last one forever, but our CSS file for this, register form three dot CSS. And now let's go ahead and go through all of our CSS. We'll first go ahead and say dot reg dash step dash three dash container. Um, I should really probably again, condense a lot of my CSS because all of them have width 100%. All of them are going to be display flex in the end. So it's probably good to condense these. They're all kind of flex direction of column. And they're all going to have justify content center in the line item center. So again, someday I'll probably go through and refactor this maybe on a live stream or something. Next we have reg dash step dash three content. So this is the actual content of the page or of that container. We're going to have a width of 75% like we have in all of our other ones. We're going to have display flex once again. We're going to have flex direction and column once again. We're going to have our justify content center once again. And finally, we're going to have our align item center once again. So again, we could probably just put like reg step content, reg step container, put them inside of one CSS and share them. Probably a good idea. And we should probably do that at some point. Uh, next, we're going to say reg dash step dash three header. So the header is going to have align self flex start because we want it on the left. Our font size, oops, broke everything. I'll fix it in a second. Font size is going to be 31 PX. This is straight out the Twitter website. Font weight is going to be a little bit thicker at 600. And then finally we'll have a margin bottom of about 30 pixels. This is just kind of eyeballing it based off the Twitter website. So let's go ahead and do the values. So the reason why I did it this way was for some margin on the bottom. Uh, so reg step three dash value. 
and now we'll say width was 100% of that 75 and we'll say the margin dash bottom is about 25 pixels all right we're almost finished up here so now we'll do dot reg dash step dash three dash policy and the policy is going to have a font size of about 13 pixels it's going to have a font weight of about 400 pixels or 400 and the color is going to be twitter blue at um, five three six four seven one actually just kidding it's gonna be like a gray let me double check five three six four seven one it says that's the right color let's double check this all right i guess it's that color finally dot reg step oh never mind that's right the policy is the one that's twitter blue finally we have reg dash step dash three dash link so this isn't a real link obviously font dash size is going to be 13 px same size as the one above our font dash weight is going to be 400 same as above our color this one is actually going to be twitter blue color is going to be 1d a1 f2 and finally our cursor is going to be pointer because it's supposed to look like a link finally we'll go ahead and do the hover effect reg dash step dash three dash link and then hover and all this is just going to be is have a text decoration of underline because this is what twitter does i don't love it but it is what it is that's what twitter does uh whatever so now if we go ahead and hop back in it's not 75 percent for some reason let's go back through oh we never imported it let's go ahead and make sure we import the css import and this is going to be register form 3.css and save and um do 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 register form 3 should be dot slash there we go next hit this now that looks much better looks like twitter I'm not sure if that's supposed to have a black outline or not. I'm going to have to double check that. I also spelled sign up incorrectly, so we can go ahead and fix that really quick. Um, sign up. There we go. And I can double check my Twitter screenshots uh, in between episodes just to make sure that's what it's supposed to look like. But now whenever we click it, it's going to send our information to the back end and actually register us on the back end. Unfortunately, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, please stick around for the next episode by hitting that subscribe button. You'll know exactly when it comes out, especially at that bell icon. If you did enjoy the content today, be sure to leave a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a thumbs down. Either way, it helps out with the algorithm all the same. And finally, if you have any suggestions or feedback for me, make sure you leave a comment down below. With that being said, I appreciate you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.